In chapter 1958, the narrative takes a turn as Hayden coldly rejects Shiloh's invitation to share a drink. Despite Shiloh's attempts to engage Hayden, she is met with indifference, emphasizing Hayden's resolute stance against unwanted advances. The scene unfolds with Hayden walking past Shiloh, surrounded by her vigilant bodyguards, leaving her frustrated and angered by the rejection. Shiloh, a member of the affluent Farrell family, reflects on her changing status within her own family. Her status as a successor has changed, and Catherine, an additional Farrell family member, now assumed precedence. You can feel Shiloh's inner agony as she works through her family's relationships and society expectations. The chapter provides insight into Shiloh's past interactions with Hayden, revealing a complex history. She had admired Hayden's confidence and demeanor, and despite her change in status, she couldn't forget Hayden. However, the revelation of Shiloh's true identity a year ago altered their dynamics significantly. Shiloh, no longer the favored successor, struggles with her diminished influence. Her jealousy intensifies as she observes Hayden's interactions with Catherine, believing that Catherine is now the preferred daughter despite her perceived inadequacies. This envy showcases the intricate relationships and rivalries within the Farrell family. The chapter explores into Shiloh's internal conflict and resentment toward Catherine. Her desire to claim Hayden for herself is fueled by both romantic interest and a need to assert her worth within the family. Her determination to prevent Hayden from being with Catherine hints at a potential love triangle and sets the stage for future familial and romantic conflicts. As Shiloh sips her wine, she vows silently to make Hayden hers, even if she can't obtain her romantically. Her animosity towards Catherine adds a suspenseful element, leaving us curious about the dynamics between the two sisters and their potential clashes over Hayden's affections. Shiloh's sister-in-law intervenes, questioning her solitarity drinking and urging her to join the crowd, vying for young Master Queen's attention. The conversation between the two women sheds light on the societal expectations placed on Shiloh as the second young lady of the Farrell family. The notion of the door-to-door -door son in law prospects implies a pressure for Shiloh to secure a good marriage for the benefit of the family. In the midst of this, Shiloh's envy towards Catherine becomes apparent and her sister-in-law's advice seems both supportive and subtly strategic. The chapter concludes with Shiloh's resolve not to be perceived as taking the initiative, acknowledging Hayden's aversion to such advances.